Hi, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Likes Podcast. I'm Shy. And I'm Winter. And we're back again. It's been a minute. It's been like two weeks, honestly. Yes, this is episode 54. We don't have the cards today, but it's okay. We still have our phones per use. Nothing you know, new. I brought the cards, but I didn't, um, I was rushing. Yeah, I have my cards too. I just was rushing as well. But um, yeah, week intro. What's going on? What's going on with your week? My week was so crazy, guys. It was in <laughs> insane. Really? I'm telling you. I don't even, I'm telling you, Catalina was amazing, you guys. It looked fun. It was so much fun. Literally, so it was Evan's birthday. We went out there, and honestly, (laughs) you couldn't tell us we weren't on the Amalfi Coast. Like, you could not tell us that we weren't on the Amalfi Coast. It, it literally did. It. We did parasailing. We went on a little bar hopping. It was like really such a little beachy town. If you don't know what Catalina mm-hmm. Island is and you live in L.A., even if you've never been, or if you're not from here and you don't know what Catalina, Catalina Island is, it's just like this little small island that's Very an cute. hour away, a boat ride. Like a, you take a little ferry and it's an hour away. And you're in a whole nother world. You're in a whole nother vibe. Like we rented little golf carts. I mean, yeah, golf carts. And we rode around the town. Like it was just so mm-hmm. cute. I had the craziest story too. So like on the first night that we were there, literally, um, so you know, Catalina is kind of like small. It's small. So there's really yeah. not much to it. It's like one little one strip of a street. Mm-hmm. So me and Evan, because it was his birthday, so I, I took him out there for his birthday. You know, I was excited. I was more excited than him to go, honestly. But we ended up having a blast. But so it's not many black people there either. So we seen like this like group of black girls by the beach. Mm -hmm. And they had, I don't know what it was. I didn't know what it was, but they had their names on the back of each of their shirts. And so one of the girls was like taking a picture or standing up. So I didn't know them at all. So I'm like, Evan's like, go ask, you know, black people, go ask them if they got any plans out here tonight. What's there to do? Literally like, what's to do? Because we want to, you know, we want to go where the vibe is. Um, He was like, if they got hookah, let, let us know. Let's see. They might know. Hookah so, on Catalina is crazy. What, look, it'd be a whole new vibe on Catalina. So literally, we walk up there, and I, I walk up to the girl, and she her back is turned to me. So I, knowing me, I'm like, I read her name, don't know who she is, but her name name is like I don't re, I don't remember. Don't I'm sorry if this is not your name, but I remember it's like Khadijah or something like that. So I walk up to her, and I'm like, just by reading her shirt, I'm like Khadijah, Khadijah. <laughs> Hey, before she even turns around, y'all, she recognizes my voice from the podcast. She turns around and is like, before she turns around, she's like, shy. And I'm like, hi, it's me. Recognizing <laughs> like, the voice is she crazy. Did not, recognizing my voice is actually insane. I was, and Evan was like, that's crazy as hell because we bust out laughing. She was like, and all of her friends knew who I was. We ended up taking like pictures and they were like, oh my God, this is so great. I even told her, I was like, yeah, she was like, she's from Jersey. And Evan was like, and I was like, oh, Evan's from New York. And she was like, I already know. I was like, okay, you'd be watching the pod. Knowing our business from the Literally show. Literally from the pod is crazy. Yeah, no, that sounds cute. I've been to Catalina a couple of times, but I never went like with a boo or like on a date. But I feel like it would be a cute little like staycation. You yeah. go, you drive to like, I think Long Beach or Marina Del Rey, one of those. Yeah. And you take a ferry across and it's cute. There's like parasailing. There's all kinds of little like island activities, but it is kind of slow and it is a little like older white. But yeah. It could be fun. It yeah, be it's fun. a cute little situation. It really is. And like I would suggest if you go to Catalina, you you do you can you have docks from Long Beach and uh Marina del Rey and Newport mm-hmm. and another one, but like I wouldn't go just for a like I wouldn't go for a day and like come back that night. Like I would go I would at least have one night stay. You know what I'm saying? Because it yeah. doesn't make sense to drive an hour to Long Beach, wherever you're from, unless you're from Long Beach is convenient. Drive an hour to Long Beach and take the hour ferry and then like you be there for a few hours and then go back an hour, and then go back driving back to where you're at. So I would stay like a day. But it was a cute little situation. I loved it. I think it was sweet. I had a blast. The parasail was cute. It looked cute. But I was literally supposed to go to Catalina for my, I think it was my 26th birthday, and it Mm -hmm. was in 2020. So I was, like, starting to plan my whole Catalina trip, and then literally lockdown happened, so I never got to go. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably go there for my next birthday. Damn, lockdown happened right after, right before your March, birthday too. Yeah, yeah it happened March. right in March. So March it was 2020 like is so crazy. That's so far away. So long ago. But um my week, um my week has been uneventful. I've been well, I guess it hasn't been uneventful, but it's been privately eventful. Um just, you know, a lot going on. A little depressy, a little stressy, a little sad. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this too shall pass. Um yeah, so just trying to figure all that out. 
Yeah. And um, yeah, new week. Let's get into it. New week. Social new media question of the week. All over the internet, people are pushing extreme expectation in relationships, but when those expectations aren't met, met, is it time to settle for whatever you can get? This is a good question because this is something I feel like I go through. You know what I've gotten this, what I've been doing lately? What? Instead of like reading the social media questions that people have asked us, because I feel like they're kind of like, they've kind of been grouped together. They've all asked what we would do when we were younger, this and that. Right. I looked up what Sex in the City asked for all those seasons. Oh. And this is one of their questions. This is, that's very smart. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have rewatched Sex in the City, but I've been also rewatching it. Yeah. And it's like, it's just crazy. We've already talked about it, but just like seeing what they're going through at their age, which yeah. is our current age, is like, insane but these bitches were ahead of their time they for sure were they definitely were they were like going through it before ig was a thing yeah. and it just makes it feel a little bit more comfortable to know like okay we're actually not alone going through all these growing pains people yeah. have done this many years before us even without all the social media pressures and stuff like Decades that Decades before us. yeah but um for do you think it's time to settle if you don't get uh your expectations that's something i feel like i kind of am going through now like should i just settle but i feel like in my last relationship I chose not to settle because I felt like there was just some things that were missing um so I don't think that you should personally settle I mean I mean maybe one day if it's like you know settling in a friendship relationship but I want a love-filled marriage mm -hmm. I don't want a loveless marriage so I'm gonna try to not settle for as long as I can okay. what about you what are your thoughts about it I feel like from social media, I feel like sometimes the expectations exceed the reality. A lot of people can't obtain certain things that people exceed, people put as their expectation. And I'm mm -hmm. not saying that in a sense of like, I just feel like sometimes I feel like social media has like... Altered our brains. Altered our brains in yeah. a sense. And it's just like, it's okay sometimes if the person you're dating isn't capable of what mm -hmm. the person you're watching on social media's boyfriend is capable of. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I don't think that's what should be considered as settling or what should be the norm. Yeah, norm well, into society. Yeah. So that's how I look view it as that point from from that standpoint. But settling mm -hmm. wise in yeah. if I don't feel loved right. and I'm still in a relationship, then I'm settling. That's how I feel. Yeah. I the love should never be something that you settle over. Like, yeah. you know, you can settle for other things, but love should never be one of them. But also like social media is not real. Like mm -hmm. it's so many people that I know who are in relationships who like it looks great, the girl looks spoiled, they post yeah. happy pictures. And we all know that social media is not real. But, I mean, when you're not really, like, kind of living that lifestyle, you think that it's so real and it's, like, everything yeah. you've ever dreamed of. Like, so, yeah, definitely don't settle when it comes to love. But, I mean, you have to make compromises in relationships. Yeah. And um, sometimes it's not a settling. It's just compromising. And you have to, like, be able to know the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And that's that, you know? There's also non-negotiables in relationship, too, you know? Like, it's right. okay to have non-negotiables. But I do think, like, sometimes when you like somebody, you could bend that line a little bit, you know? Yeah. And see where it goes. Right. I mean, even, like, with me, like, and just since I've been single and, like, dating, like, I feel like I know so clearly what my standards are now mm -hmm. in a relationship, especially because I came from a relationship that wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. He wasn't a dog. Like, he didn't do me hella wrong or anything. But, like, I felt like it was just missing certain things. And now that I know that, I'm not going to get into anything else where I feel like, Oh no! Like, like I'm just not. I just know what my standards are now. Yeah. Like a hundred percent, I know what my standards they are. They say every relationship you improve on what you you. It's like checking off a list and seeing like, okay, this is what I don't want. This is what I do want. This is what I'm not gonna put up with. Right. Every relationship you're supposed to like level up and get better. So right. yeah, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I definitely feel like you get closer to like the one because yeah. you learn every relationship like what you're not gonna put up yeah. with and yada 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 all that I, I I definitely agree with that I feel like I'm even you know going through that I feel like every time I date somebody now it's just like closer to everything I want because I won't yeah. even waste my time on somebody who I'm like you're not meeting my standards I know you're not meeting my standards like yeah. period pack it up you gotta go but uh rapey vibes next subject rapey vibes which is random but it's actually not random because we just talked about this what two weeks ago yeah with your friend also mm -hmm. it's not random because literally yesterday the, remember that same guy i know yesterday <laughs> wait what 
<laughs> Remember that same guy who touched your butt at the pool, I think? No, he didn't touch my butt. Oh, he he was being me. weird and rapey. Remember, he was standing there watching us, and then he came and yeah, sat okay, by us, so and then he came. Oh, he did touch me in the pool. Yeah. And then we were swimming in the pool, and then he, like, swam past me and touched me, and I was like, don't fucking touch yeah, me. Yeah, so he didn't touch. So he just swam past and touched, but it was, it was too much. So yesterday, he did the same thing. So not oh. the same thing. I was in the pool. I would, you know how I like to lay out and read a book or mm -hmm. whatever. So I'm doing that. And I'm also kind of the only, like close to like the shaded area. Mm -hmm. So you remember last time how he came right, sat right next to us? Mm -hmm. This time it wasn't the seat next to me. It was the one right after. It was in the yeah. shade. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading my book. Literally, I'm like, oh my goodness. Here so he I'm is. Exactly. Here we go. So I'm reading my book and he's like, excuse me. And you know, he has that little like accent. So yeah. I'm just like. I think he's Armenian. Yeah, he's Armenian. So I'm like, hi, I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, like leave me alone. Yeah, like, leave me alone. And and, and it was weird because I didn't want to have, I didn't want to be rude because I live there and right. I see this man consistently. Right. So it was like, I, it put myself in like a weird position because I'm like, I would answer his questions with like one word. Right. And you know, I was saying like, I would just be, he'd be like, what are you reading? I would be like, a book. Right. And so it got to the point where he was like, he like I like I was saying little things like that, and it was just mm -hmm. it wasn't like weird or rapey. It was just like weird. like annoying. Like why don't you get the message? Yeah, why don't you get the message? And yeah. then so I called Evan. And I was just like, this guy's fucking annoying me. Like yeah. you know, I'm just talking to him, and so he's like, show me. And he's oh like, God. put me on speakerphone. Oh God! And I'm like, no. Like I'm like, no. He's like, put turn volume. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that because I'm like, I see this man. Yeah, all he's the time. gonna freaking unalive you. Literally, like, exactly. So he didn't. I'm like. Men don't understand sometimes when you have to like play that nice card. Yeah. When it's just like this is if this was a guy on the like like street. honestly, even on the street, I'm not mean. I'm I'm not saying it's like I can be mean. I could be mean to people. Mm -hmm. Like at work, I was a little mean to people. But like, I don't know. I think at like 15, New Orleans jaded me. Like I seen this bitch get knocked out of mm -hmm. her heels. Yeah. For like you know what I'm saying, denying a man. Like I've seen yeah. like men have. I'm, I'll never forget one time. I I was just like, oh, don't talk to me to this guy. When I was like 13, he was like you then skinny mini <laughs> skinny mini skinny mini was crazy at least I'm not big no. <laughs> literally but oh what was I saying yeah I, I feel like your life is in danger when it comes to these situations he was mm -hmm. asking me like little things he was like uh he was like do you stay he was like you stay with anybody I was like yes my boyfriend lives with me yeah uh -uh, and so yeah uh -uh. exactly so I'm like my boyfriend stays with me yeah. and so I was just like I'm trying to read you no know? you know what you say you say yeah my uh boyfriend lives with me he's a he's a cop I'm sure That's I should have said say. that but I would leave it alone I'm saying these one things and I'd be like I said three times I was like I'm just trying to read I'm trying to mind my business so I turn around to go on my backside. he's like you want me to help you with that oh this my is when God. I was like because I was very patient for a long time yeah no. and I was like Mm -mm. Now you're being fucking inappropriate. Right. If my man, if I were to tell my man that you did this, he would have a problem with that. So right. can you please leave me alone? Right. And he made me feel horrible. Why? He did. What did he, he say? Was like, oh, I I'm not from here. I don't know. Like, oh please, cut that like, shit. Oh my goodness. So nah, I, he knows he's being exactly weird. right. He so knows. I call Evan again or whatever, and we're just talking. And so the guy like leaves, and I felt bad, and I didn't want him to kill me for being rude. Yeah. So I was just like, bye. Cause he said no, bye to me, so I said knows, bye. He knows. He knows. He right? knows. So I should have. It's just like that fucking show we we just watched a uh, roommate horror story or something, and it was yeah. the guy, the Asian guy. Keep mm -hmm. mind, he was like born and raised in America, basically. Yeah. And like when the police, after he killed that girl, he all of a sudden was like Had trying to accent, act a, yeah. like, oh, I don't understand. I don't yeah. understand. Like, no, that guy knows he's a freaking yeah. creep. Like last right? time we went to our pool, he was there staring us down, and I already peeped him staring from like the balcony. I said, bro, this guy's being a creep. He goes yeah. in, gets his swim stuff, comes by us, gets in the pool i'm the only one in the pool and i'm like bro i know this guy's gonna try to do something it's a whole ass pool and he want to swim by me and touch me yeah like crazy. you know damn well you did that on and purpose. he asked me to get into the pool too he was like are you gonna get in the pool i was like he's being a creep yeah right okay, i would complain about him i'm not gonna lie that's too weird that's too weird sorry he's giving rapey vibes this is the second incident like yeah no, i would definitely come that's why i was a little afraid of that i was just like i don't like I don't want him to know I live by myself. I don't want to be extremely yeah. mean. You lock me up in the back of right, the fucking right, stairwell. You know right. that, them, 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 that elevator be taking a while sometimes. Yeah. Literally, I might have to take the stair. I, like, I was just yeah. like, I don't know. I think sometimes keep the peace from, I'm like, one thing you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like. Yeah, like keep the peace because you don't want an issue where you exactly live, obviously. Exactly, where I live, you yeah. know. So I was just like, I don't know. But, but that's why you awkward. complain to the people, though, because yeah. if he continuously is. This is the second time we've had an incident. Imagine mm -hmm. there's many other women who live there. They probably have some type of story yeah. as well, especially at that pool. Clearly, that's a little hangout spot for him to be weird or whatever. Like, yeah. no, I would definitely file a complaint. They can't say where the complaint came from. 
Yeah. Like at all. So, I mean. But technically, what did he do? And this is what it gets. This is what happens weird. when women complain or when women want restraining orders. They don't you say, damn you have to kill sh- somebody. No, you do. In order for, for so you have to die in order to, you know, get the get attention. consequences. No, literally. The, get the attention. So it's like, if, if I were to complain, it'd be like, what did he do? He tried to have a conversation with me. Right. And. And he was creepy and he did exactly, something creepy be like, to my that's friend. A, that's a compl- I know? mean, I would say he touched my friend in the pool and he was being creepy and Look, weird. she'd be watching the podcast. You know, I'm going to tell you who we talking hey, about. Hey, Lyric. Right? No. <laughs> 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 no, but for real, he's already done multiple things. I would definitely complain. But that's like, even with my restraining order, it was like, why do you not care that this guy yeah. is keeps being creepy yeah. and I have to go through all these hoops to just get somebody to pay attention? And it's like, y'all aren't going to care until he actually hurts me. Yeah. Which is just like, same with that yeah. roommate story, the roommate horror story. Oh, yeah. She, called the, she called the police. She said, my roommate scared me. I feel like he's going to hurt me. He's going to do something to me. So if anything hap- happens, he did it, blah, blah, blah. Or she thought she was going to hurt him. If y'all yeah. seen that, it's on Netflix. It's really good. It's mm-hmm. a series. But um, no, it's y'all be careful with these guys and don't be too mean because and it sucks that you have to say that as a woman. You have to find a nice medium. Right. You have to find a nice medium of being stern, but also being like you know, not too mean because they'll snap out and be a weirdo. Exactly. Like that's, and, and, and I hate it that I had to have that thought in my head, mm-hmm. but that was, cause I'm like, I do. I don't want to say I live alone cause he be coming. I'm like, <laughs> I can't. but like, it's, it's, it's like, it's not a, con- I mean, I don't know. I just have, I've never really been that mean because I have been, I have seen women get knocked out right. for being aggressive. They do in that in the Bay too. So exactly. I've seen that I've as well. I've seen it. I've like, her yeah. heels was over here. Her body was over here. <laughs> Uppercut. Caucasian. <laughs> so like literally like I've seen it. So there's a way to go about it. And like, remember that story recently, a few months ago, this guy stabbed a woman up mm-hmm. for um, being like, no, like it's literally, I've been nice and I've been like, no, thank you. Yep. I'm good. I have a boyfriend. Yeah. And like, even when I told him, I told nice that guy that it. he was like, I was like, I have a boyfriend. He lives with me. Right. He was like, he was like, Okay. Right, I just lie Y'all and say married? I'm engaged. I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm engaged. Like, yeah. but I try to do it like that, like hella passive. Or I just try to ignore you and act like I can't hear you. And then you, yeah. if you keep bothering me, exactly. I just try to be nice about it. But mm-hmm. no, but even the story with my friend that we had found out a couple weeks ago. So I forgot how it came up. Oh, she had told me she was dating somebody. She told me a couple details. And I was like, oh my God, is it so-and-so? Mm-hmm. And it actually oh, yeah. ended up mm-hmm. being him, which keep in mind, I went on one date with this guy like legit eight years ago. Mm-hmm. But I will never forget him because I went on this date with him and then I had him walk me back home from the bar that we had been at and I just got bad rapey vibes from him yeah. like a hundred percent like he just gave me rapey vibes to the point I was so creeped out mm-hmm. that I was like um oh yeah like I need you to leave like my roommate's coming home and like she's hella mad like I had to get him up out of my house because of the rapey vibes he yeah. was giving me and she was like that's so crazy that you said that because I got the same vibe from him yeah he kept trying to like push liquor on me and yeah. like was hella weird and pushy but mm-hmm. I don't know that's always a red flag I remember one time I was like at the roof at this rooftop hotel with a few of my friends or whatever and like this I was getting cold so this guy was like oh I got a I was got he was like I got a uh, jacket Mm -hmm. in my uh, in my room Mm -hmm. so I go down there to get a jacket just me and him we go down there and mind you I wasn't even like showing any interest in this guy or anything like that Mm -hmm. mind you we go I'm like I I mean I should have thought this was years ago but it's still something that I remember too right and like he was just like so he was like yeah I got one in my room like I'll go get it like I'll go get it for you I asked him go get it first he's like oh just come down with me to get it see which one you want so I'm like okay I went down there literally I'm like in the room area he like comes out of the bathroom with his like dick in his hands Literally, and it's just like this. He was like, Uh-oh. so he was like, you like that one? Rubbing uh. his penis. And I'm like, are you serious right now? I mm-hmm. run out of there, run out the bathroom. I tell yeah. my friends. I'm like, we got to get out of here. No, yeah, so that happened to me before. It, bro, yeah. it's so many weird stories of men being having rapey vibes. Yeah. Honestly, you just got to pay attention yeah. and follow your intuition. Because I, mm-hmm. when he asked me to go down there with him, I was like, that's weird. Just go get a jacket. But right. I should have followed my first mind and been like, no, just go get a jacket for right. me instead of right. being like, like, okay. Okay, I'm going to just go down there and see. Right. But things like that happen, and it, it lets you know to be on your P's and Q's for next right. time, you know? Right, right. But sometimes it after the next time, it's already something done happened. So you got to right. trust that gut instinct. Mm-hmm. Like, don't feel like you have to be pressured into doing yeah. anything, yeah. literally anything. If I don't want to take a shot, I'm not I'm going. Not if I don't want to go in that room with you, I'm not going. If yeah. I don't want to do this, I'm not going. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But, you know, play it off, too, because, you know, people are crazy. But um, speaking of R-A-P-I-N-G... What the hell? Chicago rapper Little Reese arrested for 
RAPI and Jean women in LA hotel. And that when I seen that, that was that's a new recent this thing. This is new? This is new. And that's what reminded me of that thing a long time ago that happened in the hotel. I was like, this was years ago. Wait, like, what? Like Wait, when did this happen? Oh. This just recently happened, like two, three days ago. Do you know who that sh who Chicago rapper is? Yes, I know I who know he him. is. Because, oh, you know him? Yes, because, oh my God, when I saw this, I was like, this is crazy. So I used to have the same management as Young Chop, Chief Keef mm -hmm. and Little Reese years ago. I'm talking when I was like legit, like 19 years old or something like hella young. There's literally a picture of me out there in like, I think it's the south side of Chicago, wherever they're from. Dang, so you, they oh, had you really me in the hood. I, it's a picture. Like it's me. I'm like the only girl. You mm -hmm. know that picture where it's like the princess and then like hella like hood dudes like all around. Like it, oh, yeah, I love it that. literally is just like that picture because I had the same management as them and like Whole long ass story, whatever. Like Michael Jackson with the Crips at one time? Yeah, so I used to travel with them like like all the time. So mm -hmm. I know all of them. Yeah. Like I really do know all of them like since we were younger. Like we not, we haven't really talked in years since yeah. all of that. But I know who they are. So that's crazy as hell to me. Do you think that he's ever given off rapey vibes from when he was younger? I mean, no. But we were hella young. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, you know, like... I, People grow up and change. I don't know. Yeah. We you, were kids. Like, you know, like legit kids. Like it was like. What, like 20? No, like 19 or 18 19. or this was after I was in. Um, he's our age? I don't know. I think he's a little I younger. He's, I think it he's a little younger. Story. And like, I know he has, I think he has like a twin sister. But like, I used to be mostly with Chop, but mm -hmm. I used to be around them too. Cause like when they would travel, I would just travel with them. And like, this was before they super, super, super blew up. And. Yeah, it was crazy because that was when, yeah, I was, I think I was 19 and they were like 16 or something. And I think that's when they like blew up or something. I don't remember. I feel like men, those type of situations sometimes, not all men, but like men who have that type, like a little bit of power, I think they got some money and mm -hmm. a little bit of entitlement. Was it like a, like it, like a statutory or like a real, like I assault? Really, I literally just seen that. Damn. And, I, and it made me, yeah. So. Arrested is, if, if you're yeah. arrested for something like that, they got proof because yeah. a lot of guys don't get charged for sexual assault because it is kind of hard to prove. Like mm -hmm. if you don't get all the details when you get them, go get a rape kit, blah, 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 all of that. Ooh. So she must have had her ducks in a row with that one. But yeah, that's scary. Um, Praying for, P's and Q's, Praying for her. Praying for her because that's crazy as hell. But, um, oh, my God, American Airlines. I've been seeing all kinds of crazy stuff going on planes lately. Did you see, um, what's his name, Terrell? I don't want to say Owens. I don't think his name is Terrell Owens. But he's a guy, he's a former athlete, and he was just on a, I think it was a United flight, and the FBI came on the flight and arrested him because he tapped the, um, the flight attendant shoulder and was like, excuse me, can you get me some ice? And he, the flight attendant was like, don't hit me. And then had the flight, at, had the FBI come on the plane and arrest him. And now he's going to sue the hell out of the airline. Crazy. Crazy. So he tapped? Tapped. He literally tapped. He told the whole and story. And it was a little white woman? It, it was a white guy, I guess. A white guy. Oh, yeah, my goodness. I guess goodness. it was a white guy. And yeah, they scared of black people. Right. And he is a big, like, black guy. But, like, I'm like, you don't even know who you're, like, why would this man who, like, is, like, a respected man yeah. in his community, like, hit a flight attendant? Yeah, exactly. You know? He was there with his wife and kids. So his oh, kids had to see him get arrested. And he... Literally, I did not. Know. I haven't read about that. I haven't seen anything yes. about that. I have to read that. That's insane. I, we're to. talking about exposing. Remember when designer was uh, oh his exposed wiener. himself on his the show? His wiener on there. Yeah, and he just recently was on a podcast and was like he had to get. He was up. medicated or something. He said I was that medicated. Is, is, imagine having your kids around and seeing something like that. I've actually met designer a couple of times and. He's actually really cool. So I'm like, he had to be under the influence of something. Yeah. You know, all them boys, all them like music boys be doing all of this and all that, you know. I never forget when Nicki Minaj made that, uh, that, uh, she was on Oh, somebody. in special and ed? She, yeah, she, no, yeah, she was just like, is he not in special ed? I'm crying. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think he said he used to be, but American Airlines laptop fire. I did see a video of that and people were pissing me off in that video. You saw the video? Yeah. I don't know anything about these plane things that you got going on. American Airlines laptop fire? No. I thought you wrote that down. No, you wrote that down. Oh, my God. There was a freaking fire on a plane on American Airlines, and the flight attendant is like, okay, everybody evacuate. Leave your stuff. Leave your stuff. And all the people are standing there like, I'm just going to grab this bag. I'm just going to grab. And they're like, quit grabbing your stuff. Go, go, go. They're wasting hella minutes. The cabin is like filling up with smoke. It's all on video. I'm like, bro, people are so irritating. And I have like a huge pet peeve with flying because I travel so much and like 
the things that people do when flying are so idiotic to me. Like I, every time I get off of a plane and somebody does some dumb ass shit, like I want to make a TikTok video, but then I'm like, people don't travel as much as me. So they're not going to like keep it in their mind. Mm -hmm. But I have so many pet peeves when flying. Like people just don't know how to travel and it's just irritating. One of my pet peeves with traveling is when people stand up right when right, the, right when the plane is landed, like yes. right when right, right when the tires right. touch the ground, you stand. What are you doing? We all have to wait right. the same time. Right. It's, it, it doesn't make it any faster. Or I hate when people like rush from the back to try, try to, to rush. Oh but my! I can God. understand if you are, have a layover and you have a, and you, your flight about to be delayed. But usually yeah, those I people, that. like the airlines, will be like, "Please excuse. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a flight that is um we've been delayed. So there's like a let them through. Yeah, let yeah. them through. And but other times, no, it pisses me off. Like. Literally, and you know what a pet peeve of mine is? Another pet peeve when I'm on a flight? And this is, this is, this probably shouldn't be, I mean, well, it is a pet peeve, but because it's like, it's me and it's not about them because I get upset when I, when the person at the window doesn't close. close the shade. It oh pisses my God. me off, but yeah. it's also selfish to me too because it's like, well, what if they want to no, see? No, but it's annoying. It's annoying. Especially if it's an early hell. ass flight. Bro. If it's a 6 a.m. flight, why is the shade why open? Is, I be staring like this. Right, like seriously, you gonna close the shade yeah. or, or like, what? If it's a le- well, if it's a late flight, it's dark outside. But if it's an early flight, I get so fucking irritated, so annoyed. Bro. That's why I bring my little sleeping mask now because I'm like, I yeah. don't want to have an attitude because I will stare yeah. at you every single time. Like, you no, close I that window. Or I what? I stare at people when they when they hop up and try to get in front of you. I'd be like, oh yeah. And there's times where I've been so irritated and so frustrated. I'd be like do we all know how to get off of a plane yeah like and i know i sound like a total biti but mm-hmm. like i don't care because it's so no. irritating to me like bro why we're all about to get off the plane it's like a merging situation yeah. that lane goes we go that lane like and why are you standing up you still gotta wait for your bags right. if you get in back oh and then when oh my god another what is pet your peeve, pet peeve? my another pet peeve when you're standing at the baggage claim and everybody want to stand hella close to mm. the thing and it's like just stand back so that people can get through to grab their exactly. bag when you see your bag you're going to be able to go up like you standing there is not going to make your bag come out any quicker just stand back it's so irritating like, people lose all type of decorum oh when they at the uh, airport and it pisses me off yeah they don't know how to move they don't know how to function oh my god i just had something happen at the airport bro i don't i don't even think i told this. Oh my god! Oh, I have another the video. Pet peeve of mine is when people what? don't put on their headphones and like I'm like, oh, they why have are you music playing, full fledged conversations, or have music playing. Like you should know to have headphones at the airport. But what just happened? No, to- it's so irritating. So I was on a freaking flight, right? And I'm not even gonna say where I was coming back from. I was coming back from somewhere, right? And I'm I I'm on the plane. I'm sitting in like the first row, and um, there's a white guy sitting across from me. I forgot what I did, but he tried to tell me something. Like he was like you're gonna you need to put your bag up or something and I was like do you work for this airline I was like do you work for this airline and then um whatever I was gonna put my bag up anyway like I travel all the time so but don't um, tell me what to do right so keep in mind on this flight I'm drunk as hell (laughs) like I was drunk as hell so we land and he's as soon as we land he gets in his phone and he starts cussing somebody out in the voice memo so my mess oh he just been mad right so my mess yes I'm like oh they pissed you off huh and he's like he just starts spilling it he's just like yeah this is my wife and she this that and the third and blah oh, blah I blah you posted that right I'm gonna show you I'm gonna play the video for you guys it's crazy as hell so he's like I'm like I'm drunk so I'm playing it so I'm like really she did that I'm like that's crazy blah 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 keep mind in my head I'm like he sounds like a psychopath yeah so he gets on the phone with her he's right he next ready to, me. to argue with anybody that's why he right. told you that he gets he gets on the phone with with her as like me and him are talking like while we're walking off the plane and he's like here talk to her hands me the phone to talk to his wife and i grab the phone and i walk into the nearest store like you Wait, know the, and he's not with you no i walk oh my he's God. standing outside of the store and i'm on the phone with his wife and i'm like hey girl i said i was just on the flight she was like who is this and i said i was just on the flight with him and i'm gonna tell you this like this he's a psychopath you need to get away from him like he sounds crazy like the things that he's saying she's like i know i know he's crazy he's mad because i'm leaving him bro i get back out there right i'm like here hand him the phone and this is him on the phone what did he expect you to say? I don't know. He probably thought I was going to have his back or something. I think he was drunk too. Look, this is the this is it. I'm I'm going to show you guys the video too. Hold on. Uh, I'm done. Oh, why did you say that? <gasps> Wait, I have to show them the video. <laughs> oh my god. 
That is hilarious. What if that's somebody? What if that's somebody? Uh, uncle watching. It this? definitely is. But the fact that he, re- you know what? I'm done. Like he, y'all heard it, but y'all couldn't see it while you was hearing it. But bro, I was like, this man is crazy as that hell. That is hilarious. But Loki, I'm crazy too for taking the phone and talking. Yeah, about literally, I would've been like, I wouldn't get in that mess, baby. I was drugged. So I, I would've was been like, like, so what you leaving him for? What right, is it? right, what right. Really is the tea? I, I was know the so details. messy. Tell me from the beginning. I mean, I do like when I'm drunk talking to people on the plane, but mm-hmm. when I'm sober, please leave me alone. Yeah. But you'll be able to tell when I'm tipsy because I'll yeah. I'll be a little more um you know attentive. One time I made a lesbian friend on the plane and she thought we was gonna get married. And then oh my, I, I remember that. I had to block her. Her, bro oh my god i was like why am i so friendly when i'm drunk i'll it's make as much, much conversation as pop- possible but as soon as i open that book it's right. done. leave me alone leave me alone please leave me alone no i'll never forget one time this guy not at the airport but this is this rem- it reminded me of that when you told somebody to t- when he told you to put something up mm-hmm. this guy um me and my sister were at the movies one time and i was like just like checking my message or something but the movie hadn't start yet uh-huh. so he was like like don't be on their phone or something i forgot I, I was trying to think i know i blanked out real quick but he was like hey he was like are you gonna put that away and i was like yeah i'm sorry and he was like put it away right now i was like <laughs> i literally looked at it, i was like fuck you right what the hell what the my nah. sister and my sister was no better she bust out like what the hell he was like put it away right now i oh, was like no. excuse me For, not from now i'm about to leave it open and be like this right. i'm gonna turn my now, flashlight exactly, on now i'm gonna do everything i can to piss you off no that's crazy that was so funny to me though yeah, no, that I, I just have so many random, hilarious plane stories. But um, something random that also happened to me this what? week, which is like what? I have a, tell, I have a ran, Lindsay just randomly sent me this. What? <laughs> she said, literally, just now, just text me this. Do you ever feel so happy you wonder if you're bipolar? No, I usually feel depressed to a point I'm going to slip my wrist and I wonder if I'm bipolar. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why would she say that? I don't get it. I get what she, you don't ever feel like bipolar. manically happy. Like yeah, manically happy, and then the next minute, like oh my god, my life is over. Like my life is is so sad. It's like it's it's such a polar opposite. That's me shift. with caffeine. When I have caffeine, I'm like so happy. I like I too, be thinking sometimes, too much. Yeah, I be thinking sometimes. I'm like maybe I am a little bipolar because why am I not even pissed off anymore? I was right. just like, well, I'm over that. Yeah. Wait, but what were you about to say just now? No, I was gonna say I had this weird ass thing happen to me this week. I. I guess I did have kind of events happen this week. I just have blocked it out due to my depression forming. But um, so I had went to this. I was going to go to the, well, I ended up going to the party. But my friend invited me to this party and it was like a private party, whatever. Mm -hmm. And she like is like having to send all the girls names because it's like some super private thing. And like Mm -hmm. it's a, it's, I don't know, some super private thing. And it was ESPYs week. So, Mm -hmm. you know, like all the like little athletes are out here. So, you know, they be having their private parties, which whatever. So, um. Bro, my friend was like, had sent me in, and I guess the guy, like the manager or the agent or whoever, was like, oh no, Winter can't come. She has a podcast. And I was Wait, like, what? Yes. Wait, who said that? The freaking agent guy who was like accepting all the girls to like come to this party. And keep in mind, my homegirl was throwing it too. So my homegirl's like, no, 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 like Winter has to come. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, whatever. But like, the fact that that even was a thing, like, it's just been like a couple instances lately where I've been going through things like even like when trying to date, like guys have been have admitted to me that they're nervous to date me because I have a podcast and I'm like, I do not come on my podcast and put people on blast. You really don't. I literally keep my dating life and who I be around so private for that specific reason because I don't want to, you know, be anywhere and like be the girl who just be putting people on blast and now I can't go nowhere. Yeah, you know? exactly. So I just was like, this is just ridiculous. Like this has now been an issue like two times in like the last like two months. And I'm yeah. like, what is going on? Like, yeah. I don't understand it, but message we're not here to put anybody on blast we don't care about your little raggedy asses and who y'all be cheating on exactly period remember when we went to the uh ja Morant, uh party and they took our phones oh my and god I, we didn't know it was ja Morant. we just were like I, we were just randomly we were going yeah. to a party we knew it was some basketball players want to be there but yeah me I, I was just looking for a fun night out but they right. took our phone and i was like why are y'all taking do you our remember phones? how mean the security was or you had already left I left at that point, but no, and I, and I, I'd be cool with the security because most of, I know most of them from like the club or whatever. So like, I don't really ever have a problem, but when they asked to take our phones, I was was like, it was crazy. And I was like, first of all, John Morant, the one putting guns on social media, not us. Like he the one who's going to get himself in trouble. Why are you worried about what we're going to do? I'm crying. Nobody is worried about these little boys. That part was actually hella whack. So So I don't even know why they I'm like, why would y'all even take our phone? And then remember when Bijan snuck her phone in because she had a kid. She's like, I got a kid. I'm not leaving my phone. Oh, my God. And the party that I'm even talking about, some girl had snuck her phone and got kicked out. You know, girls always try to sneak their phone in when they have two phones. They stay doing that. But, like, I'm just like, I don't care enough to record anybody. Like, I would never put nobody's business on blast. Like, I personally, 
would never. hate if that happened to me. So I would never do that to anybody else. Like, no matter what the crazy yeah. circumstance was, like, it's just like their business is their business. Like, you And know? remember that um, at the at that party when they when I'm mm. recording a good day, I'm recording a good night out, I'm lit, and then Kayla's talking about something serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. Like, I don't give a fuck about right. y'all conversation. I don't give a right. damn about y'all Ain't conversation. Nobody recording, y'all. Nobody's recording that. That's just how that LA stuff is, though. Everybody thinks they somebody in there. I mean, and I understand, though, because yeah. it does happen. You do have things. It does happen. Yeah. So I get it, but it's like we are not. But me personally, on that. not at all. We personally don't. But honestly, that. and look, then we come on the podcast talking about this, right? <laughs> and then what happened was, the- <laughs> we well, saying no why, names. Bitch, I ain't want you around. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, we're not saying no names or nothing. Like I'm not gonna say who party anything was or like anything yeah. like that, you know? Because like whatever. But I'll talk about a story and keep the details out. But yeah. I feel like it's my life, so I'm allowed to do yeah. that, you know? But um, Trump. Almost getting assassinated. Crazy. Crazy. Insane. Crazy as hell. I don't know if I believe it, though. So you think it's staged? You thought you thought it was staged? So I low-key think it's staged because... Conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theorists. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Like, And I really hate conspiracy theorists. Yeah. But like, Candace Owens had like broke it down on um, TikTok. And like, I'm not going to lie. I really mess with Candace Owens. Like, I really think right, that she's very t- real. Like, I'm not going to lie. a lot of shit. Like, I used to dislike she, her because she's, like, a Republican, woo-hoo. whatever. But, like, when you really listen to what she's saying, like, she's not lying. Like, you know, she's really not lying. Even she was like, that was fake. Yeah. So I was like, nah, I know something up. Because, you know, she is a Trump supporter, right? So, mm-hmm. like, I assume if she says it, that something is fake, like, she's like, no. Like, she, I'm keeping it real. Mm-hmm. But even she said, she was like, no, like, y'all don't understand how tight Secret Service is. Oh, yeah. They would, they would they never allow that to happen. Down there, yeah. Right. Like, they would never allow that to happen. And then the fact that the shooter didn't even hit him is, like, makes it seem staged even more. Because how could you even miss that shot? Yeah, and there's so many different – I don't – I mean – it, it, it really depends. There's so many different news outlets saying different things. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. So I really don't know what to believe at this point because at first they said it was a fragment of the teleprompter that right. cut his ear. And right. then they say, like, now that the doctor from Donald Trump said that a piece of his ear is even missing. Right. And, like, the the, the part where it's social, I mean, uh, the services. Secret took, services? Secret services took, took forever too long. to get there. Bro, no. And then they would rush that man off that stage in a heartbeat. They not let, letting him get some time to put his fist up. Don't try to change the black power sign. Oh, and that, and that is also Did why you know I think what white fake. power is? This is no. white power. Now, they changed the okay to white power. White power. I used to think this was okay, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, this is like, when people do like this, it's like oh, the white like power. Oh, it's like this? So, oh, I don't, I don't even want to throw them. it up. That seems so weird. What's the, what's the gang, like, what's the gang banging one? Blood? No, what's, oh yeah, blood. And this is like neighbors no favors? Wait, is this neighbors no favors? Okay, please don't but shoot But anyways, us. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, I, okay, also another reason why I think it's fake is because why, I think that this was a stage thing to get the black vote because he threw why up black the black power fist. Over that? Like, Bro, what, are they going to relate more to that? I don't understand that, that it's standpoint. The bl- it. No, because he threw up the black power fist. I think his, that movement was just like in a sense of, no, I think that movie was just as a, like, I'm still here. I don't think black... I think he did it for black To power. say that, to, to think that black people are that ignorant to do some shit, to, to be moved by some shit like this, is I'm gonna just be honest, discrediting a lot of black people. There are a lot of people who are very ignorant who will go for Trump because... Um, he he got shot. He about to what, act, they think he's a he cool? about to act like Fifty Cent. Now he think he a rapper, and he throwing up the Black Power fist. He got Amber Rose That's on ignorant. stage. It's very ignorant. But I see young Black Americans kind of like you know what I kind of fuck with Trump, and now I kind of regret you know my statements as far as like joking around and being like he is kind of funny because even though I think it's funny clownery, at the end of the day, like this is our country, and like yeah. what like. He, he already has three people that he's put in Supreme Court. And you know how hard it was for Barack Obama to put one person in the Supreme Court? Yeah. They denied it every time. But, you know, in 2025 for the new presidency, the Supreme Court overpowered the president. Now yeah. the president is over the Supreme Court. They're trying to turn this into North Korea, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, this is going to be crazy as hell. Nobody of color should want Trump in office. Like, nobody should want this man to be the president. Like, honestly, like... And I genuinely do mean that, like, the freaking white supremacists are already outside marching and freaking setting bonfires and shit, like, excited that this man is about to come back in. And I feel like they're really trying to get the black American vote right now by bringing all these people up. Amber Rose. Why is Amber Rose on stage? Why? They said Amber Rose says she's not black, she's biracial. I mean, and that's fine. It's I, I don't really, like... 
I, I, that's okay that she says she's mm -hmm. biracial, but at the end of the day, she is a woman of color. And why is she on stage? Like, is nobody else feel like we're in the you episode of the Boondocks? That tattoo, big as hell, right? Right. Here. Like, what the hell? Like, yeah. girl, you got to get real, bro. Like, He's like, I'm going to throw up the black power fist. I'm going to fake an assassination. And then I'm going to bring a BBL bitch on stage. And BBL. that's how I'm going to get him. That's how I'm going to get him. You know, like, I really do feel like he's trying everything he could possibly do to get the young black American vote. I think that people need to pay attention. Like, I, and you know, and, I'm, and I say this lightly, but I see why business people and like people in another tax bracket mm -hmm. will want to vote for Trump. Yeah. But I think it's still selfish to do that because the yeah. masses yeah. are not in that tax bracket. No, when I, and I he's know not that for too. the masses yeah. of that tax bracket. Yeah. I so have, it's yeah. just like, you have to you have to take care of the country that is the masses. Right, you know? exactly. So that's how I feel. It, that is very true. And I do have a lot of very wealthy friends who are like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pro Trump because like it's yeah, gonna, the taxes is gonna help them out. Like, them out. You but get it's what just I mean? like the masses are not in your tax bracket, and it's selfish yeah. to literally just to only care about your. I mean, it, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky game. But I don't know if it was staged. I think it was a reckless, like many other times, it has been reckless white boys who have yeah. Got accessible and who have had guns and oh, it's done some reckless old. shit. Twenty years, but old. he's a Trump supporter too. The guy mm -hmm. who did it was a Trump supporter, like that woman who loves Selena but still killed her. Like I don't, I mm -hmm. like it. I don't I, like. There's a you can't understand a psychotic brain, yeah, and so it just true. to me like I understand what Candace Owen was saying for mm -hmm. sure, but. Who who makes these little these deranged people do the things that they do? Who makes this little white boy get an AK and shoot but up a how church would he or a do movie, that? movie theater? Do all these things? Yeah. How would he do that? How like, would that be? There like, were audience the, members. Slacking? There's videos of audio audience members literally saying he's yeah. got a gun. You think that that's gonna fly? Yeah. With the potential president yeah. of the United States, the previous president of the yeah. United States, that's not flying. Like, I'm sorry, I don't care what nobody says. You can't even say words like that at freaking events like that yeah. because so, their secret service in the audience. Yeah. Like, there's no way they didn't catch that. Yeah. I'm sorry, there's just no way. It's 2024. There's no way they didn't catch it. I think it's fake, and I'm not. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. So, I genuinely think it's some. I think it's some shit, and I think people think that. Now it's like, yeah, it's cool. Like, why are you? Why is Trump even out the bed? Many men, literally. Many, 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 many. Like Trump men. is out the bed with a damn ear yeah. thing. Like you should be laying down and laying low. Yeah, and that big ass patch, babe. You know, you just need one of them little finger, uh, <laughs> finger, uh, them little band dot band aids. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally. But, I mean, honestly, I don't. I can't say if it's staged or not. I just, I think that this election is an important one, and regardless of our other decision, Biden. Yeah. Even if he a little slow, I think that this country is already going to shit and I don't think we need to make it worse. And honestly, women like uh, even with the women's rights things, like it's just like yeah. <sighs> if you're a woman or a person of color, or somebody who is impoverished, like I don't think that you should be voting for Trump. I don't care how cool mm -hmm. he makes it look like period. And my mom called me and was like, you know what? After she watched the episode, she was like, you know what you should have said when asked about black jobs? Black jobs are the vice president and astronaut. And that's a, a head. mechanical engineer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And that's she was like, like you should have said that about you black jobs. You, you, you play too much. I was like, did you see when Biden just said that? He just, but my mom said it before. My mom I'm had to talk crying. with Biden. She's, you know, they all as a team were like, yeah. what are we gonna say to yeah. get back at this yeah, statement? Like, yeah. oh, Kamala, Kamala, we can use her. But no, but that's true. Like, oh my God, it's just bullshit, bro. It's just but every. Honestly, this is why I don't get into politics because yeah. it's just stressful and also it's very disheartening. Like when you're in it and it's just like. And especially when know. people have different views sometimes. And, yeah. you don't, and it's just like, it's okay to have different views, 1,000%. Yeah. It's not okay to be ignorant. It's you know not what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, yeah. we speak on shit very lightly. Because we're not fully educated. You know what I'm saying? But you do have to educate yourself and, you know, go with what makes the most sense. Right. You know? Honestly. Right. I mean, all I know is that something in the milk ain't clean. <laughs> in the u.s of a milk is not clean and his name is trump no. yeah you know but um speaking of um crazy shit megan good getting picked up by wait oh. who did she get picked up by um chris rock no. no why did i think chris rock uh michael ely or, or something like that 
Okay, I don't know who she got picked up by. With the green, with the green eyes. Who is that? Who was on oh, the light skin man? Light skin man. Yeah. Light skin man. The one with the green eyes who be all in the movies. Be on everything. Yeah. And the vi- as the villain. Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Um, that Avengers. was insane. That was. Do they have beef or something? Like, did y'all see Megan Good get picked up by? Mr. Green Eyes in front of her man swung, uh, swung, swung around, around like a romance novel. Yeah. And her man just standing there like. put uh, Getting in his little man bag. Like his little glasses away. And he didn't even say what's up to him. Like I'm so confused. So they said there was a video where he said what's up to him earlier I oh. guess. And then he seen Megan afterwards. But you still don't pick up nobody woman like that. You that really was don't. romantic. That, that, huh, that pick up was like we done did it before. We done had right. sex before. Oh my and it God. reminds me of what the I The t- skit. The Drewski. Yeah. No, but it reminded me of what I told you earlier about the yeah. hug like no, that. No, literally. Or like the double kissing. Or just That's that. worse. It's just like those are things. Yo, you picking my girl up is absolutely insane. That gives I miss that coochie. Please yeah, like, come home. Like literally. No, actually, we saw that, him that, one time. Do you that remember? That misses that. That that means that's that. I don't give a damn about your man. I miss that coochie come no, home. No, literally. That, that is that disrespect. That might have me come on home because that was a bold statement. Look. <laughs> that was a bold statement. And then statement. later on in that party, uh, John the Mayor's dancing like he's trying to free the slaves. Oh, my God. I was like, this man. He do dress like that. I, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's no not disrespect. cute. He's not. He's not. He looks like, um, he's sorry. Not. Look, I'm yelling. He's not. He's not. He looks like um, it doesn't give that. I hate when people try to over sexualize actors. Something that is not giving, and it doesn't give, bro. Who else does it not give for? It does not give for him. He looks like uh, Martin Luther King. Yeah, he looks like he he was born in the nineteen sixties with them little fedoras and little. uh, No, he looks like he was a teen in the nineteen sixties. He seems like a real nice person. So I don't. I hope you don't. I hope you're not watching this. Yeah, but he's not giving what they be giving. Like you know, they were comparing. Like I think he was on Creed. Wasn't he with Michael? Maybe he has good dick. Who knows? He probably is that. He might be packing. He might, because you know what? I could overlook my man looking a little corny if he banging this shit to the wall. Yeah. Like, and I then she went from him to Devon Franklin, the pastor. Who's Devon Franklin? Oh, her old man. Her old man. Her he husband. Was, he was fine. Her oh, ex-husband. he was, he was fine. fine. He was fine. And I'm not saying John the Mayors isn't fine. Like, his body is Is that nice. his name, Jonathan Mayors? Yeah. Oh, John Mayors. That's like the guy, the singer, John Mayer. Is it Jonathan Mayors? We don't be knowing. Oh, John major, major. major. Sorry, guys. We never, <laughs> we never get nobody we name right. We don't ever get nothing right. What do we call him? Michael, I don't know that man's Michael name. Michael Healy. I seen him one time at the Glendale Galleria with his kids. Oh, we did? Yeah, I think he, you were with me. Remember, I was like, oh my God, he just walked past our car. That's so random. LA, oh. LA. LA, LA, LA. We'll do it to you. Yeah. Who did I just recently see? I seen um, off Sister Sister, they brother best friend okay. at Target. Don't you know nobody remember who that is. <laughs> One time you, uh, did you tell them about when you uh, had the Pilates class with Lady Gaga? Oh my God, I had a, oh my God, this is crazy. I wonder if her political stance still feels the same. I she had, told you? No, literally, she was taught, we were, I did not know this was Lady Gaga because la- we had a whole sit down. Me and her were talking. She didn't even know it was Lady Gaga. I didn't know till afterwards. And Bijan, she was like, yeah, that's Lady Gaga. We did like a, like a spin class, not a Pilates. Right. It was like something oh, to spin. Yeah. And I hate spin. You know why people love spin. But literally, and she was just like, Trump is not a good person. Ooh. I do not. She was like, Trump is not as Not us putting good. Lady Gaga's Literally, Trump, did, did like, she say this, this publicly? This was years ago. I don't oh know if God. she said this, but this was years ago when Trump was like running, I right, think. Right, right. So this was like a long, long time ago. And that's why I'm like, I wonder if her stance right, is still the same. Right, because all this is going on. All this, but like now. DM but, her. That's your friend. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> hey, Grelly. Hey, Grelly Pop. Remember me? Right. From all those years ago? Right. But literally, but yeah, she was just like, no, and people need to understand that. Like, you know, and she was saying, she was just like, not only does the presidential campaign matter, what you do in your hometown matters too. So she was like, right. so you vote for the people who are going to be your senators, your state representatives, right. blah, blah, blah. And she was, so I was like, okay. She out there pushing the message. She was out there pushing the message. Right. And I didn't even know who she was. And right. then I seen security coming. I was like, okay, so. I, don't, I still right. didn't know. Like, she looks completely... She looked way different. Because she's looked, not in Lady Gaga gear. Yeah, she wasn't Lady Gaga yeah. gear. She was yeah. just regular Lady gear. She was just Lady Ga. Lady Ga. <laughs> she was a Ga gear. She was just Lady. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I remember that. And then Bijan was like, do you know who you were talking to? And I was like, no. Brand and White Lady. Yeah. She's like Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Like, oh, my God. I'm a monster. I literally... It's like, nah. But um, I have some advice for the week. Let's get into it. It's kind of long, so... I haven't read it all the way, but I kind of got the gist. But, um... Hi, Winter. This is for the advice segment. Hey, y'all. I just want to say I love you both. First and foremost, I've been watching since day one and really need advice. I'm pregnant with my and my BD second baby, and I went through his Instagram and saw he was messaging someone. It looked like they were a trans woman or either a woman with a lot of work done. (laughs) I couldn't tell. I'm sorry. Fast forward a few days later, I see her doing an interview about being trans for eight years. I confronted my BD about it being... 
I, I confronted my BD about it being that he would message random girls all the time and I was trying to prove a point to him that he shouldn't be messaging other girls at all I asked him about it he seemed embarrassed and he said he had no idea that they were trans should I be concerned or should I believe him is it gay if he's attracted to trans women should I leave him y'all help me out here okay I have a I have a a different opinion on that because okay. and you know how some people like y'all swear to have called me some called me names before but <laughs> I honestly do not think it's gay when a man is attracted to a trans woman. Yeah, I Especially don't Especially if they look like a woman. Like, right, I mean, right. they are, like, you look. Um, just no, because like, there's a lot of trans women who don't look like yeah, women. Yeah, and, 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 like, you know. You and that pisses, like, me, that, off. Do, yeah, that pisses me off. That pisses me off. Those type, I mean, those type of trans <laughs> women piss me off. Because it's like, you're not taking these proper right. precautions. And you like, well, body positivity, y'all. No, do the work that you no, need to be to done. Me, to me, I hate when people get mad when they get misgendered, but they aren't doing. Oh my god, I hate watching those TikToks. Like you, you have a five o'clock shadow, bitch. You can't tell. You yeah. think I can't tell that you're you not? You look like a sir, right? Like, you look what? like a he. Oh my god, it's so weird. But I mean, to me, I don't. I to answer her advice question, I don't think it's gay, especially it, even if he didn't know. Yeah. And like, I mean, I think a, like a lot. The majority of trans women put in a lot of effort into yeah. their looks to right. look a certain way. Right. And I feel like it would completely be discredited in them in a sense to be like, like you know you're just not attractive. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I mean, let's be real. I mean, pretty like a transgender is low key. There are sometimes. a lot of very beautiful trans you know? women. So like, I mean, I don't think it's gay at all to be attracted to a trans woman because yeah. like whatever. Now once you know and that voice get a little deep, it's like all right, what we blurring some lines here. No, I'm just kidding. But I think like I don't know. I think that if a trans woman still has her Peter and guys are like f dealing with the Peter, yeah, f fondling the Peter, yeah. like sucking, then the Peter. I'm sucking the Peter. Like, I'm like, okay, you're at least bisexual. The lines are being blurred, yeah, because there's you, nothing wrong yeah. with being bisexual. And there's nothing wrong with being bisexual, but to me, I am like, if you're doing anything with a dick, period, I don't care who it's attached to, I think that you are. At least curious, like yeah. you know, obviously. And there's but, nothing wrong with being curious. Like, yeah. just I, I seen this podcast where this guy and this girl, she's a trans woman, but she still mm -hmm. has her penis. He's like, bro, I'm not gay at all, and I suck her dick all the time. <laughs> uh, sir, mm, I think we, we may have, have to face talk reality about a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's be honest with ourselves. That's the first thing. I mean, you know? they might as well just come up with a new sexuality for that because there's already so damn many. They might as well come up with a sexuality where I'm attracted to women, but I'll play with a little bit of dick if she got it. <laughs> 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 That's a new by thing. curious. Bro, I don't know what it would be called. Or like, would they call what the, would they call them in Thailand, lady boys? Yeah, like, lady boys. But they're so they love to be a lady. Like they they, they, they say pretty. that with pride. They're pretty yeah. as hell. They'd be like, I'm a lady boy. She's right. like, I have a penis. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's just like they say that with pride. Like, they love you know, them out there too. They, Literally, they be making money and shit. I'm like, okay, they be out here. Like the boys love them, and it's not as like taboo out there because it's so common. Like it's just like yeah, like it is what it is. Crazy, crazy. But to say, but like I I like I said this with the Dwight Howard thing and they ate my ass up. I was like, oh, yeah. you, you low-key get the best of both worlds yeah. when you have a beautiful woman and she yeah. got a little penis if you if you a little gay. I know a you couple. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. is that wrong to say? Right. I, I definitely know a couple of guys who are into trans women and I don't think there's anything wrong with it and I really just feel like I wish more people would just live in their truth because yeah. if more people lived in their truth, it would just quit being an issue. Living in your truth. Would Literally. you date a guy who has who has actively and been with a trans woman who still had her penis? Would you date a guy who's done that? I mean, probably. <laughs> you know, I say yes to everything, though. Y'all be, my and friends will ask me some crazy shit and be like, would you do this? And I'd be like, probably. I would have to see. Uh -huh. I would have to see. Like, I would have to go through it to see. Like, I don't know. Like, well, I'm not going to say my answer. <laughs> but if you know me, you know it. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I, I have no idea what yeah. I would think, but, um, I mean, if I was in love with I him, would, yeah. I would ask way too many questions. I'd be like, so what did you do? How yeah, was were it? you playing with the what, what, like, what, I, no. But you I know, couldn't. I wouldn't even care if my man was bi, so. I'm sorry. I care if my man is bi. I'm sorry yeah. about that. I care about those things, and I, 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 I don't think anything is wrong with doing those things. Yeah. That's where we need to differentiate it. I don't think anything is wrong with being a man and sucking another man's penis. I don't think anything is wrong with being, when, being a man and funneling penises. I just preferably her do man. not she want man my that. man to be doing that. And I just, I can't pretend, y'all. And I love my, I love the community. I've, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? LGBTQI I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> but I don't think anything is wrong with saying that I don't want my man to be fondling another man's penis. I don't think there's penis. anything wrong and with I that. And I think that, like, I think that if people want, if people stop labeling other things as homophobic. Right. That's not homophobic. Be, it's that's not your homophobic. preference. It's your that's preference, your preference. You know, and I'm not disrespecting anyone else's preference. You can go do whatever you want to do. Right. You can take it whichever way you want to take it. Whatever preference I have, 
But that's my, my thing. Preference. I feel like, you know, a couple of my old dudes is probably gay anyway, so. Period. A couple of them are. Yeah. Look, I'm just so, kidding. Well. But, you know, we've all, I've dated someone that was uh, closeted as well a long time ago. So yeah. it's just like, you know. Tis what it is. But it is what it is. That is our advice for you, girlfriend. I wouldn't leave him over that. And I think that it's like, but I mean, you should think about him messaging other girls yeah, in general. Yeah, just in general, that. like messaging women. While I'm you're gonna, pregnant, it's crazy. Yeah. She's pregnant. That's wild. I would I'll be more focused a, on that. I'll never forget a guy I was talking to was messaging back and forth with Black China. I was like, what are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, bro, she like that always happens. No, I remember one time I went through this boy. Like, why are you doing this? This isn't even like, like. I went through this boy's computer and there was a video of him smashing tea on a Trump. And I was like, oh, what the hell? Like, oh my God, bro. This is just You're like, all right. That so industry why? shit. That yeah. industry shit is too funny, bro. But anywho, yeah, that's it. Love That's episode, episode 54. Also, we wanted to tell you guys, please go subscribe to the new channel. We're about to start posting and uploading on there very soon. So we're going to put the link above and we're also going to put it in the description. So make sure you guys go check it out and give us a subscribe. Check it out. Bye. Oh, wait.